I moved my high-powered desktop computer, my video editing and recording station, into my office because the living room just isn't a place where I'm going to always have quiet time for recordings, videos. But that leaves a gap in the living room. What kind of computer will I have there? So I'm going to turn this 2-in-1 tablet into a triple monitor workstation. Check it out. So last year I got myself this cool Acer 2-in-1. It's not any like really great baller laptop or anything, but it came in handy on a trip or two. So what I wanted to check out is I wanted to see if I could hook it up to use this, this guy here, to hook it up to these two monitors and actually have three displays. Let's see how it goes. So the Wavelink, you can still get this. I saw it on Newegg for 71 bucks. And let's take a closer look here. You've got microphone in and audio out. Got a hardwired network. You got DVI, HDMI, four USB ports, uh, high speed charge, two USB 3.0s. And this is the USB 3.0 in. You need USB 3.0, and this happens to have USB 3.0, so it's good. And then this uses a 12 volt DC power supply. Uh, this is like display link technology. Let's see if we can see that there. Yeah. This is display link technology. You don't really need drivers, to be honest. I've never seen what's on this CD here. I didn't need to read the quick start guide either. It comes with this uh, DVI to VGA adapter. We're not going to use that. It includes, this is the USB 3.0 cable. I'm going to go ahead and integrate that into this right now. Like so. Now the only problem I have is I don't have a USB 3.0 port. I have a mini, so I, I had to purchase this add-on here so that I could attach it to the USB tablet there, okay? It also includes, here's the 12 volt wall work power supply, okay? So let's get started. Let me get the box out of the way now because we don't need that anymore. Okay, so I've got my power supply. We're just going to, that's my 12 volt power supply going in there. All right, let's see what else we got. So this belongs to this monitor here. I'm going to run that up underneath here. Run that up there. That's good. Yeah, always run power underneath everything so it doesn't weigh everything down. There we go. What else do we need? We need our other monitor. So this HDMI is going to here. All right, so I'm going to plug in HDMI into the HDMI port. I'm going to put this underneath as well. I'm not weighing everything. Got a microphone here. We used to do Shitoku Tech News of the Week. And that's kind of groovy. So now here's my microphone and my speaker. Microphone. Oh no, that's the uh, power for the laptop, sorry. Microphone closet oh, down here somewhere. That's power for the laptop. Power for the two-in-one. I'll go ahead and plug the speaker in. Okay, the speaker's plugged in. And here's my microphone cable. Come on, Mr. Microphone. There it is. That's a long cable on that microphone. There we go. So, we basically have everything hooked together that we wanted to hook together. 
Let's see if it works. Should we? That. Okay. So you can see it's already picked up that monitor. And you saw that guy went from uh, showing nothing to a black screen. And this guy's on a black screen. I'm just gonna... I've already had this hooked up, so it kind of sort of knows. I'm using the fingerprint reader on the Acer. Hey, I locked right in. So, let's... Uh, there's my Bluetooth mouse just kicked in. I'm gonna kick on some screen capture software. I'm gonna record some screen action. The only issue I had is I couldn't dial in. Couldn't dial in the resolution on this monitor for some reason. Don't ask me why. You know, the 1280 by 720 is too big, and that's the 1028 by 764, and it's kind of funky. But, uh, you know, having a third monitor over there where I can just kind of throw my... That's kind of cool. Channel analytics up there so we can keep track of the Shotoku Check channel. Oh, that's coming up. I'm going to open another window here. Usually I'll have something like Notepad up on this screen. Like if I'm doing Shotoku Tech News of the Week, I'm copying and pasting hyperlinks in here. Now, this is no powerhouse, mind you. I mean, this is just a this is like an Atom CPU with 64 gig uh, SSD and 4 gigs of RAM. I mean, this is not a powerhouse by any stretch of the imagination. But to be able to sit here and look at all of this, just like we see it here, is a pretty cool experience. For this is, I bought this for under $200, mind you. The Wavelink on Newegg at some point at the end of 2018 for $50. Normally it sells for 200. Right now it sells for 200, but it's on sale for 71 on Newegg. So basically I've got $250 worth of hardware delivering three screens. It's very uh, productive for such an inexpensive little arrangement. I'm very pleased with this. I just want you to know these USB 3.0 docking stations are what they advertise they definitely work and they can uh, really help you uh, maximize the capacity i just bought a new usb 3.0 wavelength for 50 dollars that's going to be arriving soon it doesn't have all of the usb ports it basically has two usb ports the same video no audio and i'm going to hook it up to my uh, new android tablet and see what happens so keep watching Thank you very much. Won't you please subscribe to Shotoku Tech? Then maybe little Bobby won't have to walk the streets. Thank you very much.